Hey, what's up? I just picked up another Harley Benton ST62. I had a bad run of buying Harley Bentons. I bought two that I didn't like, but then kept one, and then I bought a pair that were terrible. So it seems like it's either terrible or extremely good because this one is freaking awesome, dude. It weighs in at six pounds, 15 ounces. Dude, and that's light and balanced. It's exactly where I want it. It's so hard to find a Stratocaster that's low sevens, much less right at seven even. String alignment's perfectly straight. Now, I'm not saying that every one of these is like this. Buying guitars online, man, it's just rolling the dice. Instead of getting mediocre, I either get terrible ones or real good ones, which that's fine because the real good ones are real good and the terrible ones, I could just go through the aggravation of selling them. My opinion and my taste, when you have a good electric guitar, it sounds good acoustically. This is not plugged in or going through any speakers. That is just straight from the guitar. Hear how loud that is? I have some guitars that are just can't even hear anything. And when you plug it in, it sounds just as sterile. All right, I'm gonna get away from the individual thing that's gonna be different from guitar guitar. Some specs of this thing. It has the vintage style Klusen type tuning pegs. Nut is either bone or plastic. It's cut perfectly and it's not cut real deep. The nut is cut great on this one. String alignment is perfect. This is a maple fingerboard. I don't know, I guess you would call these medium frets. They could be medium jumbo. The frets are perfectly leveled on this one. I lowered the action down real low and it's just. No buzz. My action's at about a 16th of an inch right now. Or for metric guys, I think that's 1.5 millimeter, maybe a little less. They call this neck a caramelized maple. So it's kind of like a roasted maple. Caramelized is heated somehow. Maybe it's not roasted and ovened. <laughs> maybe this is oven baked maple. <laughs> This is a vintage white finish, of course. These single coils are Roswell. I forgot the model number. I like them, they sound killer. Five-way switch, volume tone tone. This is a six groove vintage style tremolo. Of course, these are the type of saddles that'll tear your hand up if you bring the action down real low. I'm keeping this guitar and I have stainless steel block saddles on the way because that's what I use. And I'm putting aged plastics on it. So if you're curious about how these guitars hold up, just subscribe to my channel because you will be seeing this guitar for years to come. So I think I went through all of the specs. One thing I'm gonna do that's different this video is we're gonna play some stuff, but I'm gonna go live stream it right now. So this would be footage of us going live and we'll hear what it sounds like. Hey man, hey Michael man, what's going on man? Yeah man, G give Hank just a few minutes man. Oh, he, he coming man. It basically, this is the way it came out of the box, but I lowered the strings down. The picture's kind of washed out on this camera. That's why I keep holding the guitar up like this. Headstock has pattern or grain. Yeah, it does. You can kind of see some bird thighs in it a little bit. Some of these have flame going across here, dude. You got your, you got your roasted bird's eye maple neck. You know how much this guitar is, dude? I think I paid $108 for it. And then I got the mid-grade gig bag, which was 20 but you got to pay expensive shipping. 
This guitar delivered here was uh, like 200 bucks. It's like the best Stratocaster I've ever owned since those Yngwie Malmsteins I played. I might have to go sh change shirts, man, to keep this from being washed out. For some reason, cameras will wash the whites out if you're wearing dark clothes. All right, got a Freddy shirt on and it's still kind of washing the guitar out. So I guess it's the black couch. It has something to do with the black and the cameras try to compensate by brightening the picture up. Let's see what we got going on here, man. Dude, freaking tone to the bone, dude. Jesus. <laughs> Kind of got like that uh, Hendrix woman tone going on. How do you play that? Let's see if I can do like mimic some Hendrix. I don't know any of Hendrix's stuff. Oh, one piece. Oh, okay. There's no skunk stripe. So that's a maple cap. <laughs> Dude, I can't believe how good this thing sounds, man. I just can't believe it. Dude, take Stevie Ray Vaughan, for instance. He didn't sound the same until unless he was on that beat up guitar. He could break a string and they come bring him Lenny or whatever the f he had. It was just kind of like not the same. <laughs> he did have an old beat up brown one, man. <laughs> If I can play it right, right? It's got the sound. Listen to this shit. Freaking love it. My humbucker guitars, when I play them, I'm not like laughing, dude. They have their place though. <laughs> All right, so just a true thing of what the pickups sound like, I'll just do direct with nothing. Here is a scooped mid kind of rhythm sound. There you go. You can see the switch.
Here's a mid-range weed tone. Yeah, Deepak, this is a Harley Benton ST62. This is not a review, not a paid review or anything. Uh, I bought this for me, paid for it. Practicing on the live stream. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out, guys. This is it for now. If you like content like this, consider subscribing to this channel, and I will see you next video. I appreciate you coming to the stream, man. And we, we be coming back, man. You know what I'm saying?